the first feature I'm going to look at is the visualizations. Now, this is something I sort of thought I would experiment with with this app. I had this idea of just being the background being a rich visualization that moved with the music and then the interface being this floating typography based interface that sits over the top of that. Um, so the first kind of thing I did with Claude, I asked it, what can we do in terms of visualization? I think this is probably one of the uh, best examples of how powerful agentic coding can be because on its first pass, it had generated me this whole range of these different visualizations that work with the web audio API and, and you know react to the music. And I just couldn't believe the amount of code that it generated to achieve this. And of course, this may be an example of this whole, like it's, it's obviously got this kind of code from somewhere. Is it theft? I mean, was it open source projects? It, it got these, the bulk of this code from how verbatim is it i don't know the answer to these questions um but it is very very impressive to basically have a single prompt that you know, was you know make me visualizations for my music player and it come back and do this and they're great you know it's just very very fun to have this running in a web music player